Hello. In this video, we are going to go through some applications of uh, the basic electronic components we saw in this module. So let's get started. Assignment 2, 2.8. So using Tinkercad, find current I. So you need a power supply, so to supply 24 volts. And uh, you have uh, resistors. Uh, 13 ohms, 24 ohms, 10 ohms, 20, 30, 50, so you have to connect it in this pattern. So again, you don't need to do this in a breadboard. You can just um, place all these in uh, the uh, board uh, in, in Tinkercad and just like connect them. And uh, so once you have connected uh, or like say built your circuit, uh, in to find the current like that is flowing through the circuit you just have to take the positive <coughs> of the power supply uh, and uh, connect it with the positive of a multimeter and then take the negative of the multimeter and connect it to uh, the terminal of a 13 ohm resistor so that should give you the power power like this should that should give you the current that is flowing through um, this circuit and that is uh, question number eight and the next one is uh, the same but uh, in addition you will have to do another thing as well so you will have to find the current you know how to find the current of uh, the circuit um, and you just have to connect a meter um, fr uh, from the positive to one of the terminals uh, of not one of the terminals, the, this terminal of the 80 ohms resistor. And apart from that, you will also have to find the voltage V0. So you will have another meter here and you will um, connect the uh, meter across uh, this uh, terminal and this terminal. So you will know the voltage drop across this resistor. So this is, uh, you technically don't need to um, provide a screenshot but uh, I would appreciate it if you could do so uh, if not like for this question just like uh, writing down the current and the voltage would be sufficient and a light emitting diode uh, we have seen this uh, circuit uh, in the example so we need so if we have to decide or like a design a resistor, uh, so this is how we will do. Um, so we know the supply voltage, and then uh, assuming that the voltage drop is two volts, and if we wanted to reduce the current flowing through the circuit by 20 milliamperes, so you just like plug in those numbers, and then you will get the resistance. Um, so let's do a sample problem here. Uh, we don't have. An example problem. Uh, I believe like this should be like really easy to um, comprehend and uh, execute. So an LED is lit from a nine volt supply and takes uh, a current of fifteen milliamperes. The resistance of the series resistor is what? So again, you just have to plug in the voltage and here assume the uh, voltage drop across uh, the LED as uh, two volts and you just have to plug in all those numbers to get the resistance uh, of the series resistor. So confirm your results with Tinkercad and post a screenshot of the circuit with uh, two multimeters displaying the current and voltage across the series uh, resistor. So if two volts uh, <coughs> uh, is uh, dropped across the LED, uh, the rest will dis uh, like what is it? It is going to drop across uh, the series resistor. So if you add a meter and uh, if you uh, add a meter to go, uh, to measure the current, um, so it doesn't matter where because like this is just a series uh, circuit. So everywhere the current is going to be the same. And if you do that and if you put a meter across the series resistor, then you would be able to measure the resistance. So you just take a screenshot and attach it to the sand meter. Rectifiers. So we use rectifiers to convert alternating current to direct current. Um, and the most important thing here is uh, the diode actually converts. Well, 
technologies, the diode actually converts alternating current into a unidirectional current. It is not a direct current. So which means you did see, because for direct current, the current has to, or like current or voltage has to be stable. But here we are not converting the alternating current into direct current. We are con converting uh, alternating current into a unidirectional current, which means the current will flow only in one direction. It will not flow on the other direction. And here, just to make it uh, uh, a direct current, or, uh, or like with, well, when I mean direct current, like to get a stable output voltage, we need to attach a smoothening capacitor or a voltage regulator. So there are like a few kinds of um, rectifiers. We have something called a half wave rectifier, uh, and we have something called a full wave rectifier. And uh, there's also uh, something called a full wave rectifier with a center tap. Um, so for that, like, we need to understand what transformers are. So transformers are uh, just a uh, device which converts uh, high, uh, like say, high voltage AC to low voltage AC or low voltage AC to high voltage uh, AC. So they we call it step up and step down. So let's say if you wanted to convert a 240 volts uh, supply into a 24 volt supply, then like we use the transformer to do that. Uh, but th that is uh, beyond the scope of this course. We will not have any questions with uh, regards to transformers. So you can just like ignore that. For now, we will just read about like half wave rectifiers and full wave rectifiers, which is the bridge rectifier. So this is what happens in a half wave rectifier. Uh, I believe like we did uh, the, oh, my apologies, come on. So uh, we had, uh, um, when learning about like a function generator, we did have a function generator and we used a light emitting diode uh, and a resistor to create a circuit, something similar to that. So during the positive half cycle, the circuit will be closed. During the negative half cycle, it will be open which means only the positive half cycle will be uh, seen across uh, the load and the negative half cycle, no, it's going to be open. And this is what we saw. And we also uh, attached like two um, uh, light emitting diode in opposite directions uh, to see what appears uh, in the front and back. So again, like say in the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle. So this is the positive half cycle. If you forward bias, uh, if this was the configuration, you will receive this. And if you just like, uh, what to say, uh, flip it 180 degrees, you will see this as an output. So here is a bridge rectifier. So this might look a little complicated, but it is not really. So what happens when you do something like this? Um, this is just a supply, but like say, um, when you have a positive, uh, during the positive half cycle, what happens is, so this is, uh, say always the power flows from the positive to the negative. So again, here, like we have the ground. So these are like technically kind of connected. Um, we don't have a ground symbol in Tinkercad. Like, don't worry about that. Just like connect these two, uh, two things together. Um, so what happens during the positive half cycle is you, uh, the current flows through diode one and goes through the load and then comes back and goes to diode two then goes back to the source. So this is what happens during the positive half cycle. During the negative half cycle, so what happens is uh, technically the current goes from uh, the neutral actually at this point of time. Here, uh, one thing like which uh, I forgot to mention or like probably like I would have gone through that but like uh, would not have stressed so much. We say positive, negative uh, in uh, DC current, direct current, but like in uh, alternating current, we call them phase and neutral. So, so this is neutral still, but like say during the negative half cycle, this will have uh, a positive voltage. So it is alternating, right? So at that point of time, like uh, resistor D4 will be uh, positive, it will be turned on, and then like the current will flow through here and then come back here, and D3 will be uh, turned on as well, and then like return back to the source. So this is what will happen. So what will, uh, in terms of the load, if you see always the current will flow, be flowing from the positive to the negative. So this will be always the direction of the current. Um, 
So the output would look something like this. You can try the same circuit uh, in the um, Tink uh, in Tinkercad, and then like you will be able to verify that. So that is the assignment question. Build a bridge rectifier with an LED. So we are not using the regular diode. We are using a light emitting diode in Tinkercad, and add a screenshot of your circuit during the positive and the negative half cycle. Uh, so. You can use a scope. Uh, you don't technically you don't have to, but like I would uh, encourage you to see what happens when you add a scope and like see that wave. Um, but for this question, you don't have to do that. You just have to take a screenshot when uh, the diodes are turned on. So here we are having using a light emitting diode um, and just use that for that. So here we are using a function generator as a source, and frequency is going to be one hertz, uh, so that we can clearly see. Um, so positive half cycle is going to be 0.5 seconds, negative half cycle 0.3 seconds as well. So amplitude is going to be 10 volts and DC offset make it zero. And function we are going to use square wave instead of a sine wave and use a resistance, uh, uh, use resistor um, as a load and with resistance of one kilo ohm. So that is question 12. <coughs> and uh, question 13. So you're doing exactly the same, but like uh, we have done a similar circuit um, in, uh, I believe, like that was question eight or nine. But you are doing a little bigger circuit than that. Uh, but again, at this point of time, you are doing this circuit on a breadboard. So make sure you uh, check all those connections. Um, and uh, maybe you can also try like as we did uh, during uh, the example, you can connect uh, one of these uh, try to find the current flowing through this resistor maybe and then like once you're done in the breadboard like you can also so you can check the current like that is flowing uh, through this again and make sure your connections are right like if something is wrong probably the current will be different so make sure um, uh, you kind of like check and uh, ensure that like your circuit is right and 14, 15, uh, these are the last uh, part. Uh, this is the last part of uh, the assignment. 14, you're building an R gate. Like say we know how we uh, build an R gate with uh, NPN uh, resistor. So this is a regular NPN resistor. So to get that, uh, you just have to type in NPN um, and then you will see an NPN transistor. Ah, oh, my bad. Did I say resistor? Yes, I did, I believe, twice. So you will get a and uh, transistor, and then like you can bring them in, you have to connect. So this might seem really complex, but it is not. So you just have to practice. So try to use that, uh, use a breadboard to do this. And um, the 15th question is like uh, a little bit interesting. You will have to check this circuit, whether it works properly and whether the truth table is right. It's, this is an OR gate. So our gate, when either one of those is uh, energized or let's say when it is uh, turned on, the output should be high, right? So see whether you get this result. Um, maybe, why don't we just like sh do a um, circuit? So I'm um, gonna open and let's uh, do Tinkercad, okay. So I'm going to get rid of that. Maybe we will, there are gates as well. You can use ICs as gates, uh, gates um, that are built in. So these are gates which are built in. So you can use these to check, like say this is power, this is input A, B. So you have four gates in each. So you can use this, but again, we wanted to build it from scratch. We are not going to use an IC for that. So let's type in NPN. So here's an NPN transistor. So there's a uh, collector base and emitter. So we will rotate so that the collector is at the top. And then what do we need? Uh, we need a, let's check. So this is my circuit. So that is good. I'm going to bring that in. Oh, did I have one already? Seems like not. Okay. Okay, I'm going to rotate that. 
So, so to check this, okay, uh, I'm not going to do the entire circuit. I'm going to let you do that, but like I'm, I'll do a simple circuit uh, to show you like what I'm expecting from you. Um, so let's say this is my six volt supply. And the base is connected um, resistor. And it'll flip that. So this is a 10k resistor. And it'll wire that. Um, okay, that's a now I'm going to use a switch. So um, I'm I'll better use a slide switch this time actually. So which means, so when uh, this switch is in this position, so terminal one and common will be connected together, and here like these two will be connected together. So I'm going to connect this to terminal two. And I will take uh, the supply from here. Maybe I will So this is at off position. So when I move it there, so that's going to be in on position. So we can do that like after we start the simulation and output. So I will get a 4.7K resistor. So this is uh, 4.7 and I'm going to ground that. And this is my emitter. And let me bring in uh, 500 or I'm going to say 0.5. It's the same. I will do that and I will use an LED. And the anode has to be connected. Maybe, or just like, why don't I just go here and finish it? And this is my output, right? So if you see, I'm just taking that out, but instead of building the complete circuit, I'm just like doing this. So what happens here is uh, when I turn this uh, on, so this should turn on and then like say the bulb should clock. So that's what is going to happen here. So here I'm going to Make it six volts. Let me start. So okay. So this is right now turned off, but like when I move in here, it'll turn on. So that's the thing. So I'm doing this circuit. Uh, I'm not sure whether I should do the next one as well. Um, should I do it? No, that should be all right. I think you will be able to handle it. You do exactly the same thing. So you add another uh, transistor. And uh, you have a, again, but like you, one more thing is like you'll be doing this in a breadboard, uh, remember. Uh, so you need another 10K resistor and you need a slide switch. And the thing is, the output of that has to be tapped in here as well. So we'll use exactly the same setup. So this will be my input and this will be my output. So when uh, this is zero, this is zero right now. Let, let, let this be the truth table. So when this is zero, this is zero. When this is one, this is one. Like that, I wanted you to test A, B. You will have four combinations, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, uh, one, one. So for all four, like see what is the output and report your truth table. Uh, as usual, you will have to attach the screenshot of this 
and you are doing this in a breadboard, uh, not a circuit like this. Okay, and that should wind up uh, module two. Uh, I hope you are handling this well. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, do feel free to write me anytime.